is Kelly Oliver. We're wearing matching outfits. This has already got off to a good start. Um, she's already won the attention of whispering Bob Harris on BBC Radio 2. Now she's going to play for us at the end of the show. She's joining me now so that we can get to know you before we play Hello Kelly. Hello. Congratulations on a fabulous outfit. Thank you so much. A fabulous, yeah. So Thank that's you. a compliment out of the way. Let's go. Now, how would you describe your music? I've already said it's folk, but actually that's quite a wide, wide, wide range of genre. It is broad. Um, I'd say probably contemporary folk. I'm definitely influenced by traditional folk music. Um, but my style is probably veering towards the contemporary side. Okay, so is there anyone kind of, that we'd already know, maybe Fleet Foxes, is it that kind of thing? Oh, um, I suppose singer-songwriters such as, I don't know, people like George Ezra, James Bay, they're kind of bridging the gap, I think, between, um, you know, the folk genre and the singer-songwriter genre. So I suppose I'm doing that. I'm trying to do that anyway. Very good. I love George Ezra. He has a fantastic voice. Yeah. When you started performing, did you know that it was specifically folk you wanted to explore? Yeah, I think so, at the beginning. Um, that's my, my main passion, really, um, folk music, and that's why I started singing and I yeah. started learning. So when I came on the folk scene, um, that's, those are the songs I was performing, and then my, my original material is mainly influenced by it. And how long have you been on the folk scene for? Uh, a year and a half. And you're already being played on Radio 2. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's how did you come to their attention? Um, well, I did a session with Whispering Bob Harris um, earlier last year, and um, I was working on my album at the time, my debut album. Yeah. And so once it was uh, released, I, uh, the single, which is called Diamond Girl, and features a folk singer called Luke Jackson, um, that was played on uh, the folk show, BBC Radio 2, and then Bob Harris played it on his Sunday show too. Very good, which must have really chirped you up. It really did. Oh, you've got a gig coming up in London, haven't you? I do, yeah. That's um, on the 12th of February, and that's at Cecil Sharp House, and I'll be supporting um, folk singer Cara Dillon, so I can't wait for that. Cecil Shop House, of course, a very famous folk venue it in is. Hamilton Town. Yeah. What are you going to be playing for us at the end of the show? I'm going to sing you a song uh, that features on my debut album, which is called This Land, and the song is called Mr. Officer. Fantastic. We look forward to hearing it later. Thank you. Okay. Slow down, Mr. Officer, I'm not looking for a fight, you see. Slow down, Mr. Officer, I'm not looking for a fight, you see. But sir, Mr. Officer, you've only just arrived. So sir, Mr. Officer, how are you now? Just what happened tonight? Mr. Officer, that boy has just arrived himself. Oh, sir, Mr. Officer, he won't know what to say. So, sir, Mr. Officer, there's no need to take him away. Mr. Officer, I won't go home to bed. Yes, sir, Mr. Officer, after this, you'll go home to bed. Good sir, Mr. Officer, that boy's in jail tonight. And though he is innocent, he could be facing the jail for Of a guilty man with no remorse showing in him And sir, Mr. Officer, I wish I could raise The son of a dying boy praying for God to end his pain 
too soon. Mr. Officer, I tell you honestly, that boy who you've taken is not that guilty man.